In this video, I played GeoGuessr Country Streaks and beat my previous record of 10 by quite a lot actually. I think I uh, more than doubled the score, so that's pretty decent. And uh, yeah, here's the game right here. And the first round was pretty easy, I'd say. Just an easy uh, USA. And I quite, I just sent it, I think. I didn't really think about it too much because I've been playing a bunch of games trying to get the perfect score. Uh, and I, I was like getting six countries, two countries. I was like, oh, I was losing all of them. But I think we did a good job, you know, just I, I got I got a good score in this one. And I'm, I'm pretty proud of this, I think. Uh, and that one was just an easy Canada as well. Uh, it just looked very northern, I'd say. That's why I went Canada. Uh, this should just be a Romania, I believe. I think I went for Romania and I got it right, I think. Maybe that pole is uh, a Romanian pole i think but i'm not too sure I've never seen that before uh, i just kind of assumed i'd say uh this was just brazil i think the vibe just gave up brazil uh the road lines and, and all of that i think uh this was just another taiwan easy taiwanese pole you know don't really have to look at that twice i believe and uh, next round should just be an easy i didn't really get this one at first i was thinking of like austria belgium that uh, does a pretty different but you know I was thinking of all of those and I didn't really get it until I saw the yellow plates in these cars right here. Uh, and then I saw the bikes and the biking lane. And I was like, okay, I should have just sent Netherlands. But yeah, I just sent Netherlands, I think, when I uh, noticed that. And that was the sixth country. Not too bad here. And uh, this one was just, I think, Taiwan. Yeah, saw the Chinese and everything and the road lines driving on the right went Taiwan, you know. So yeah, I think, I don't know what I'm looking for here. I think it's pretty clear I'm in Taiwan. I don't know why, uh, but yeah, I just went for it. Oh, that's why. It did look a bit different. I will say that that's that's probably why I was a bit doubtful there. But yeah, this is an easy South Africa, I believe. I'm not sure, should be right. Is that a flag of some kind on the truck? I'm not too sure. Uh, but I think I went South Africa here and that did end up working out pretty well uh, Yeah, pretty close as well, you know, uh, this one was just like uh, that's pretty much French, isn't it? This is uh, this is supposed to be Quebec. I didn't really see the, So I wanted to confirm whether there were front plates or not and then there's just a lot of French So I mean, why wouldn't I go Quebec? Because Quebec doesn't have front plates. That's why I wanted to test that as well and uh, back to back Canada who would have thought I just hit Saskatchewan because I couldn't really be bothered to you know pinpoint the exact location and that was the 10th country uh, this one was just Philippines I'd say you know uh, a lot of English you know driving on the right so yeah I just sent it in, in Philippines and I think I I don't know I might have seen something that might have said that island name but yeah that's probably why and this is Turkey I believe just because of the flag I mean couldn't have uh, been easier there, I'd say. And this one was just Italian. I mean, that sign literally just had Italian written on it. So that helped out pretty fine, I would say. This was just another South Africa. Quite beautiful, the sun just, you know, in, in your face right there. Uh, but yeah, nice, nice little location. Uh, and we get that. This was pretty difficult, I believe. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't get this one right. I was uh, I was really, you know, looking at this for a, a bit too long, I'd say. And uh, I was thinking maybe Sri Lanka or Thailand or Cambodia. Then I was just thinking, oh, it's got to be Thailand or Cambodia. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I didn't really see a concrete road in the end there. I was just like trying to see if I could find something even close to it. But I didn't. And you couldn't really even tell which side of the road you're driving on because it's the dirt part. And I guess the houses, you know, it was on the stilts, I'd say. And that kind of just gave me Cambodia vibes. Thailand has that too, but I went Cambodia and it was just near the border with Thailand. So easy, easy clap, you know. Got that country down. And uh, how much was that? That was the 15th country. So pretty, pretty damn good. And uh, this was just, I don't remember what this was. I think that name is the only clue I had in this, uh, in this round. But I don't know what I went. Uh, that pole should be pretty recognizable, but I'm not too sure what they are. I think I went Hungary in this one, I think. Let's find out, you know. Maybe Romania? No. 
it's Hungary. I went Hungary near like Budapest or something. And I think I went right. Yeah, this was really close. I was pretty surprised there, I'll be honest. Uh, and this was just another USA, you know. Freedom units, miles, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that was just an easy one as well. I don't know what I was thinking of. Maybe that, that sign kind of just confused me. It was like, I thought it was like a southern sign. It was, it was just in Alabama on the highway, so. Yeah, this is just Bulgaria and, uh, you know, just the winter climate, dry trees, you know. Just went for it, didn't really think about it too much. Uh, it said latte on the truck there, so I guess they were delivering a latte there. And uh, yeah, that was just an easy Italian, so. There we go, pretty close as well, I'd say, maybe not. Uh, this was just Senegal, you know, driving on the right, bit of French here and there. Those road lines are kind of similar to France as well, as I think so, not too sure. Uh, but yeah, pretty good, 20 countries in a row, this is more than, like this is double my previous score, so that's that's pretty decent. And uh, this was another Tunisia but because of the follow car, pretty decent, and a uh, bit of Arabic there, and I'd say I saw the black car as well, and I was like, okay. Got to be Jordan, so I think I just went Jordan here, and that was uh, that was pretty decent. And yeah, it was pretty southern, but you know it is what it is. Okay, what did that go here? Oh, I mean, we have we had the flag right there, so that was pretty good. And it was in yeah, it was it was in Malaysia. Nice. This was just that's the Turkish language, isn't it? That was the only clue I really had, and I guess everything matched up, you know, landscape wise. Just went Turkey and. Worked out pretty fine, I'd say. Uh, this was a confusing round, I remember. It said dot .me, but I couldn't differentiate between North Macedonia and Montenegro. So I didn't know which one had which domain. So I mean, both have Cyrillic and Latin script, but I wasn't sure which one to go for, you know? But And I looked up to see if there was a rift in the sky. There, there just wasn't. Uh, <laughs> that would have really helped, you know? In this round and uh, I think I let's see what happens here I think I kind of just looked and tried to 5k it you know I spent a bit on this and yeah I'm just looking for any clue on the language I'm trying to see if the language fits in North Macedonia and uh, I don't think it does I don't see even a small inkling of uh, Cyrillic so yeah, I mean, that doesn't really help with anything, really. But the vibes I was getting was that it was a bit more coastal than, you know, a bit more you know, landlocked, like North Macedonia is. Uh, so I just went Montenegro and I tried to 5k it for some reason. Uh, now that I think about it, I think that was a place name on the sign there that I probably shouldn't remember for, no, sorry, Montenegro. But... Yeah, that's uh, that's what happened. I think I tried to find the exact road, and I ended up failing pretty bad. You know, you're gonna you're gonna see right here. I'm gonna fail pretty damn bad. I don't wanna you know be made fun of for this. I spent a bit too long in this round. I should have just sent it, but you know I didn't want to lose 24 countries in a row. I didn't want to lose 24 as a streak. Uh so yeah, I think that matched up kind of. I'd say maybe not, but yeah. Don't know what I'm looking for here. You might as well just send it. I don't know why I'm not sending it here. Uh, but let's see what happens. Yeah, it it said Podgorica. That's the, what is that? The capital of Montenegro. It said that on the sign. I didn't even realize it. That's so stupid. And it was just all the way south uh, near the coast there. So my vibes were kind of right. Even though my 5k attempt was horrible. But it is what it is. You know, this one is just right, driving on the right. Pretty green-ish Senegal, so I kind of went south, but you know it was more central, and not too bad I'd say. Twenty-six is the score, and this one as well I couldn't quite you know actually uh, get it, but I had to think for a second I'd say, and uh, I think the language looked a bit more, bit more like Romanian I'd say, and I was thinking of Romania, but. For some reason, the Hungary kept coming to my mind, and it was like really mountainous. So I was also considering a bit of Slovakia, but maybe not. As it was between Hungary and Romania, I remember. But 
you know, Hungary has a unique language, obviously. And this language just looked like Romania. And the, the only sign of Romania, or, or the only sign of text in this one, was just that sign right there. And I think I just went for Romania. And uh, yeah, I don't really find anything that's uh, useful. So I think I do just end up sending it in in Romania. Near the Hungary border though. Because it's kind of mountainous. I just went central a bit. Uh, yeah, it did work out. It worked out. So that's pretty decent, I will say. Uh, and uh, yeah, yellow plate is what I first noticed on that car. Driving on the left, you know. And <laughs> I just turned around. Indonesia flag, so easy. I just went Java because I didn't really want to, you know, pinpoint the exact location. But uh, it's not like I can pinpoint the exact location in Indonesia. So it is what it is, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, that just looks like Australia, you know. New South Wales is what I went for. And yeah, those names kind of matched up, I'd say, somehow, uh, somewhat, you know, so I just went for it, kind of got close there, but, you know, it's Australia, what can you do? Uh, this one was just easy, don't know what I was thinking for, I uh, kind of wanted to get a good score, don't know why, I should have just sent it, but yeah, I just went Bangkok, but it was just more south, and uh, yeah, 30 countries in a row, that is really good for me, I don't think I've, yeah, I've never even come close to like, this ever last was 10 10 was my last score so this is pretty crazy uh and uh i don't know what those you know the the poles uh the the red and black sort of poles right there are but then i saw the thai script and i just went thailand so that worked out fine and all right this is uh i was i was watching zigzags videos and you know he he said that those were bolivian you know bricks and that ended up being what cost me my game, so I do blame that guy, Zigzag, come on bro. <laughs> nah, I just went, I, I, I do, this does look like a really difficult Chile, and I would have just, I went Bolivia, and I, this, looking back at it, I would have still gone Bolivia. I don't know what makes this Chile, but it just ended up being just over the border there, and unfortunate, you know, that it is what it is. 31 countries in a row is what I ended up with, and... I, I think I'm happy with it, you know, I want to get a better score, I think I'll keep playing, you know.